Not taking apps are an essential tool for many of us, whether for work, study, or personal use. However, with so many features and functions packed in these apps, it's easy to feel overwhelmed or distracted. In fact, some of the features that are supposed to make our note-taking more efficient or organized may end up being more of a hindrance than a help. In this video, I want to share my experiences with the five features I dished for my digital note-taking to improve my productivity. Hey guys, it's Rob C back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Auto deselect for the eraser tool is a feature that can be found in many note taking apps. It is designed to make it easier and faster to erase parts of your notes. You can quickly switch back to your pen or another tool without having to manually deselect the eraser first. However, I often erase several items. I can scroll pages to erase what I want. If the auto deselect feature is turned on, it can be frustrating to have to keep reselecting the eraser tool every time I want to erase something. By manually selecting and deselecting the eraser tool, I have more control over the eraser tool. The search tool is a powerful feature for users to quickly and easily find specific notes or information within their digital notes. It can be especially useful for those who take a lot of notes or have a large amount of information to manage. I rely on our digital notebooks, outlines, and tags to organize my notes and therefore do not find the search tool as useful. Digital notebooks have a contents page that makes topics in my notes easy to locate. Its hyperlinks help me navigate pages faster. The nested outline in Noteful organizes my headings under different topics and information is readily accessible. Instead of bookmarks, I tend to use tags so I can access pages from the app's homepage. The big adjustable thumbnails help me to find the exact pages I need under different tags. Part of the reason I dislike using the search tool is that I just don't like the process of thinking about what to search for and then having to go through the search results. I do occasionally use the search tool when studying PDFs that have information that obviously I've not created. In liquid text, if the outline fails me or if a document doesn't have an outline, then I use the search tool. The pinching feature in the app is my favorite because it just brings all the search terms together so I don't waste too much time going through the results. Also, I have a lot of apps on my iPad and it can be time consuming to find apps by scrolling through the app library. I find typing to be faster, especially because I only use text for my headings only. Typing allows me to quickly and accurately enter information without having to worry about legibility or errors that can occur with handwriting conversion. With the introduction of Scribble on the iPad, it makes more sense to use real-time handwriting conversion that lets me spot and correct mistakes as soon as I see them. As reasonable and efficient as it is, I still don't use Scribble on my iPad. However, for complete documents that need to be converted to text, I use Nebo. This is because Nebo is specifically designed for handwriting conversion and allows me to convert a whole document in just a few taps. The Zoom tool can be useful to ensure neat and precise handwriting, but it's not a feature I use. It's faster to just zoom in on the page which I usually do when I am labeling diagrams or adding some not so important information to my notes. Dark mode makes my notes look unfamiliar because I am used to writing them in light mode. 
the screen reflections on a dark mode screen are also very annoying. It's probably just my writing angle, but in dark mode, I see a lot of reflections on my iPad screen, which makes it unusable. Besides, the fact that I use digital notebooks for all my notes means most apps can't switch them to dark mode anyway. Digital notebooks are PDFs. All the apps that I use don't switch PDFs to dark mode. I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments. Have you also found that simplifying your note-taking habits has improved your productivity? What features have you dropped and why? Let's start a conversation and learn from each other's experiences in the comment section down below. We hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.